Hello. Hello. I'm trying to see if there's another guy in there before I just go rushing in. Strafing left. So it seems like if you strafe left on that first attack, he can't hit you. And then it's just a matter of staying behind him. Alright. These guys are actually getting easier now that I know how to fight them. One there. Yeah, there's just one down that way. Uh... What is this? This doesn't seem to be anything. Yeah, I'm not sure what, what's going on over here. Let's go this way. You can hear that, like, rushing sound. Is that water? It sounds like water to me. Alright, so strafe left again. And then just stay behind him. Whoop. Second attack happened to clip me. And you're done. There we go. Yeah, these guys are way easy. If you're patient. If you just rush in, they could probably kill you pretty easily. Um, I hesitate to use my last Estus, but I think we're going to. Just to make sure we can keep going. Because I don't want to just, you know, die a stupid death. What is... What is this? I bet this is like the elevator in uh, Firelink Shrine. And that lever is just there to pull it back uh, up or down. Alright. So we're going down. Down, down. Ooh, this is deep. I cannot see a thing. It is. It is very dark down here, my friends. Alright. Um. We go this way. Water down here. Making me move slower. That's, uh, that's not good. Alright. Let's try this. Hopefully it'll make him move a little slower as well. this doorway for just a second and wait for him to calm down. Alright, there we go. Not a problem. So, we're gonna take a look over here real quick before we go upstairs and just see what's down this way. Where does this lead? Ooh, this is dark. I can only see like a few feet in front of me, guys. Getting weird vibes down here. Let's, uh... Let's equip our homeward bones real quick. We could use those fire butterflies we got over in the Lost Bastille and Lighter Torch. Oh, hello. Ooh. Is this... Hey, it's Lucatil! Hey, we found her again! Oh, hot damn! Hey, Lucatil! Uh, before we do anything else, let's rest and refill our Estus and repair our sword, because it was getting low. So let's chat with Lucatil. I thought that might be you. You haven't changed a bit, have you? <laughs> no, not really. The longer I am here, the more madness I discover. A wretched place indeed, but not without traces of its former glory. What could have caused such degradation? I wonder if she means specifically this, uh, this monastery area, or just drawing like in general. Ah, yes. I have not thanked you for humoring me the other day. 
This is for you. Oh? Oh, cool. Of course, I've no idea what it is. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Our land of Mirror is surrounded by enemies and constantly at war. There is only one way up in Mirror. Join the Order and prove yourself in battle. All right. My family had little fortune and no name. I had to carve out a piece of the world for myself. With two things. My sword and my loyalty to my lord. All right, so she kind of sounds like a knight. I was raised to wield a sword from birth. Life was hard, but I never gave it a second thought. I had swift success on the battlefield and quickly attained respectable stature. And then I... And then I came here to... Visions of Dark Spirit or Poor Soul. Hmm. Have you heard of the undead? Yeah. These poor souls affected by the curse. An undead gradually loses his humanity until his wits degrade completely. Finally, he turns hollow and preys upon others. And a hollow can never be human again. One can skirt this wicked fate only with the help of the souls found here. Assuming, of course, that the legends are true, I can only hope that they are. Okay, so either she's undead and she's afraid of turning hollow, or somebody in her family or her lord is. That's, that's my guess. I'm sorry to burden you with talk of my fate. I was probably her then. I suppose I've grown weary these days. I'm sorry, I suppose. I like Lucatiel. She's actually pretty cool. Now what does this say? Help me? There, uh, I hope that helped you, dude. Tough enemy ahead, all right. Oh, what is this? No Man's Wharf? Oh, it's like pirate ships. Oh, this, whoa. Oh, he's got fire arrows. All right, so we'll stop um, being a tourist for just a second. Whoa, crap. Man, these guys are uh, sneaky in here. Oh, hello. He's probably going to jump down. They're all dead. These guys are actually like the starting enemies. Um, they they aren't really that dangerous. Ah, there we go. I knew there'd probably be a way up here. Okay, now you look a little more... No, never mind. You're not that dangerous. He's got like a Dovahkiin helmet, though. That's kind of cool. Soul of a Proud Knight. Awesome. I thought that might hit. Alright, so let's check what's in this chest. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Loot! Titanite shard. Awesome, I will take that. Those are much harder to find in this game. Let's heal up. Those pesky little fire arrows are, like, slowly chipping away at me, and I don't like it. And he's dead. Okay, let's get rid of this archer before he continues to bug me too much. Alright, it is, uh, it's a little hard to see in here, but I think that's by design. Um, oh, okay, I didn't even see this bridge, so you can just go straight along that to him. Oh, man, I almost keep walking right off the edge there. There's an item over there. This bridge goes right down. Oh, it's, okay, you can walk in here. It's just really, really deep. Large soul lost and dead in a life gem. Okay, cool. Let's get back up here. Let's just say, ambush ahead. Okay. 
Well, oh, never mind. They saw me pull out my bow, I bet. I saw the two. I didn't see the third one. Uh-oh. I did not mean to fall into the water, but that's fine. I know there's a third one, but where did he go? There he is. He's right in there. You gonna come here? There we go. I knew you'd come aggro on me. I like this area. It's like a cave beach thing. Man. That shield is doing wonders of keeping him alive. And he's dead. Alright, so what was this? Dark pine resin. Alright. That's new. Uh, ah, there it is. Hexed Pine Risen. Applies dark flame to right-hand weapon. The affected weapon inflicts dark damage for a short time, particularly effective against enemies that fear dark, such as clerics and magical creatures. Hmm. That's kind of cool. What's this? Try Torch. Oh, God. Hello. Oh, man, you are ugly. Oh man, he hits hard. Oh, he does bleed. Oh crap, I just noticed that. And hit him one more time, and he's gone. Ooh. Okay, I did not even see him. Wow. He blended in very well. Is there anything in here? Doesn't look like it. Alright. A small landing here. There. Yeah. It doesn't look like he's coming down yet. So, let's check in here. Right, he's gone. Yeah, these guys are like barbarians or bandits or something. Let's get in here and get some cover from that guy with the bombs. Oh, crap, they both have bombs. So these guys don't really take a lot of hits. At least, not from this sword. They might have taken a lot of hits early on. But, uh... Oh, I hear that. I know how to deal with you. You're easy enough. Yep, and gone. I thought he had an item on him. Let's say I know they drop souls sometimes. Oh, I hear a dog. See on this side? I'm not sure where he is. I know I hear him though. I'm not crazy. This is kind of a cool area. I like this. I don't think we can get upstairs from here though. Was there anything over here to check? There is. I don't think we went in here. What's upstairs? Uh, doesn't look like there's anything up here. Let's go back downstairs. We came from that way, so let's go back down the stairs. Oh. Oh, that's the dead dog we killed. Okay. Oh. How are you getting there? Praise the sun, yes. Right, there's a couple guys over here. place is kind of cool. It's, it seems odd that a place that looks kind of like a pirate shantytown is located so close to the cathedral. Oh, Pharaoh's Lockstone! Oh, fuck that hurt! And I'm dead. Ah, damn it! Alright, let's run back and get our souls, and then we'll handle the guys with the arrows first, and then we will see what is hidden by the Pharos Lockstone, because I believe we still have one more. 
Started with one, found one, bought one. Um, where... Lucatiel's gone. I wonder where she went this time. It'd be cool if she was back in Majula. Alright, so... There we go. Could not hit him. Alright, so let's go this way and get rid of that uh, archer first, because he's really bugging me. Ooh. Sneaky, sneaky. Let this guy drop. Varangian leggings. Alright. Heal up right quick. Pull out our bow. Ah, oh, come on, hit him. There he goes. No, I don't have to jump down to get him. Um, those guys aren't posing us any threat. Come on, guys. And you. Okay, that creature aggroed on us. I can see him moving around. Those guys drop iron arrows. Cool. Let's go ahead and finish him off the... Well, no, nah, he's already back up. And you're dead. Tattered cloth manchettes. So is he hiding anything in his house? Yes, he was, actually. Ten more iron arrows. Awesome. Alright, so let's stop detouring so much. Let's get up there and get our souls back, because that's like 10,000 plus souls, and I don't want to have to uh, re-farm them. At least not that many. I don't mind re-farming like 1,000 or 2,000, but uh, once you get into uh, quintuple digits, then it starts getting to be a pain. So what did he drop? A scimitar. Alright, let's check that out, because I don't think we've gotten one of those yet. Scimitar. A small curved sword with a narrow blade. The rapid slashing of the lightweight scimitar hardly allows the victim to catch a breath. Has a sharp blade, but is rather ineffective against armor and hard skin. Alright. I like how it specifically lists hard skin. Uh, okay, we went in that house before. And that's where we died. So those are the guys that have the, uh, the explosive arrows. Let's get rid of them real quick. Alright, that is that problem solved. So let's get down there, grab our souls. I'm going to heal up real quick. Yeah, that guy walking out of the building there scared me for a second. There you are. And you're dead. Oh, I thought you died. Oh, cool. Varangian leggings. Uh, we will check those out in just a second. I'm more interested in the lockstone. Much more interested in the lockstone. Yes, use it. What do we get this time? We get good loot every time we use these. Ooh. Oh, did that just light up like this entire town? Is that what it did? That was kind of cool. Hello. 
And dead. More Varangian leggings. Is that like all these guys drop? Ooh, a chest. Alright, so what do we get? Bandit Axe and the Brigand set. So let's check that out real quick. Uh, do we have... I don't think we got the Varangian top. So Brigand. Armor donned by looting brigands. Uh, this armor may appear shoddy, but is in fact a very functional piece of work. Its materials meticulously crafted together. I wonder if that says the same about this. Uh, hood worn by looting brigands. Mountains surround Drowning Lake on three sides. Most travelers who try to cross them end up hapless prey to the countless brigands lurking there. Alright. Um, these gauntlets may appear shoddy. Okay, so same as the chest piece. And we have Varangian leggings. Leggings worn by Varangians that terrorize nearby seas. The coastline stretches far in northern Drang Lake. Uh, beyond this northern sea is an unexplored continent said to be the home of things inhuman. Alright. And... Brigand says the same as the rest of the Brigand set. Now the axe. An axe of bandits of the Ferocin outskirts. Very sturdily built for the armament of a bandit. When Farasa fell to war, its citizens were left landless and entirely to their own devices. Many were reduced to thievery, while Farasa knights scattered to other lands as sellswords. Cool. Now, what is upstairs? Hello there. And he's dead. I don't think there's anything else here. What do you got? Pear powder and titanite shard. Awesome. Those are some expensive items right there. Oh god. God, whatever that sound is, it's freaking me out. I do not like it. Nice. Ugh. That sound is creepy. Let's go this way now. Beast ahead, be wary of bleeding. Oh, so it's another one of those big guys. Oh, beasts. Ugh. Like, multiple. So I see... Somebody up there. Is that... Like, a helpful NPC? I can't tell. I thought it was an enemy. I hope I didn't just fuck something up. I was hoping to hit more times than just once. He's got a giant mug of ale. Oh yeah, see, you can hear him drinking. Oh, these guys are dangerous. You know, let's do this the smart way and not be idiots. I mean, we've got a ranged weapon, so why not use it? Yeah, see, I'm starting to draw him out. Come on. And one more. There's one down. If I can get it down to just one of them, it'd be helpful. But I don't want to fight all three of them at once. Get our stamina back up. Shooting this bow takes a lot of stamina, surprisingly. Oh, they're not trying to block me. It's the light. Oh, they don't like the light, I bet, is what it is. So that's why the Ferris Lockstone was so helpful. It keeps all these guys in check. And we'll finish you off. And we're just going to go ahead and finish him off with a bow as well, since we can. I mean, the arrows are cheap. And one more. There we go. Oh, hello. Oh, man, there's like a nest in here. 
Let's get back outside. Ooh, man. The way they're shaped is freaky. Alright, let our stamina come back up. Ah, they sound weird. your turn. Right, is that all of them? I'd, I'd like to go talk to the, the drunk guy upstairs. Oh crap! Hello! Okay, let's back off. I, man, there's so many of them. This is like, what, six in one building? This was definitely like a nest. more of you do I have to kill? Like, seriously, this is getting ridiculous. Alright, looks like one more. Alright, get up. I didn't even realize you could backstab that thing. Merchant ahead. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, kind sir. I'm gonna loot your wares. Hope you don't mind. A great sword. Awesome. We're gonna check that out. Ooh, that was lucky. And a silver... Oh, two silver talismans. Alright, so, great sword. A straight sword with a very long blade. One of a few ultra great swords. No human was intended to wield a sword of this weight or destructiveness. Only a few famed warriors have ever wielded this great blade, for it challenges the very limits of human ability. It requires 28 strength to wield, but does 200 base damage. Wow. Okay. Um, what's our strength at? 13? So one more point, and we could actually wield that if we two-handed it. Um, apart from that, they were the Silver Talismans. Oh. No, those are Twilight Herbs. Oh, there it is. A tiny charm embedded with imitative magic, used to transform into something to blend in. Use this talisman to hide from invaders, only provides the most superficial camouflage, but sometimes that is enough to do the trick. Alright, so it's kind of like the spell from Dark Souls 1, I guess, where you turn to, like, uh, different objects depending on which area you're in. Who are you? Me, Kragnok. I, Gavlan. Gavlan will... Gavlan deal. I like your armor. Gavlan wants soul. Many, many soul. <laughs> okay. What you want. I don't know what you got. With Gavlan, you will, you deal. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, you can sell stuff to him. Oh, that's awesome! And his name is Lonesome Gavlin. Is that why he's drinking, maybe? Let's see what he's got. He's got a ring of giants, increases poise. The beloved ring of the gallant, shieldless Lothian, formerly of Ferosa. What does that sound? I keep hearing a noise like somebody's walking around in armor. Maybe it's just him. Lothian was born a peasant and died a general. His determination and diligence were unmatched, especially on the battlefield, where he earned his name by choosing to fight without a shield. Alright. And he's got 20 poison arrows. Oh, what do they got? Arrows imbued with poison, tipped with rotten pine resin. And he's got poison moss, poison throwing knives, and rotten pine resin. A faintly poisonous clump of moss, when ingested, it counteracts poison and cleanses one's insides. If enough if enough poison builds up in the body to break out and cause poisoning, your HP will start to decrease. If you wish to stay alive, you would do well to keep a supply close at hand. I've already died of poison once. 
throwing knife, intended to poison the target more than inflict direct damage. This simple weapon is u easily utilized, but has limited range and deals little damage. However, if the knife can cause poison, the target will take damage for some time. This rotten pine resin has gone poisonous. Applies poison to right-hand weapon. Alright. So he's got some neat stuff, but we can sell stuff to him. That's the more important part. Um, so we have a bunch of that, like, Varangian and leggings. Yeah, see, they're only worth 100 a pop, and they're practically useless. So... We're going to sell a bunch of this stuff to him. We're going to drag a bunch of stuff over to this guy and just sell it, I think. Uh, hollow soldier gauntlets. Yeah, that's useless. All this hollow soldier stuff we can just get rid of. The brigand stuff is... Mm, we're going to hold on to it, I guess. Uh, is there anything in particular I want to sell? Broken Thief Sword. I don't really know if I need any of these to, like, ascend them to, uh, like, a really cool weapon, so I'm gonna keep them for now. Gavlan will, Gavlan deal. Gavlan wants soul. What? With Gavlan. Okay, so I don't think he... Many deal. I don't know if he has, like, um, many other things to say, so... We're gonna head out for now, but we're gonna remember where he is, because Gavlon is pretty cool. I like being able to sell stuff. What's this? Large soul lost and dead. Emit force. All right, so that's a that's a spell. Um, it is the miracle, rather, a miracle derived from force. Emits a forward-moving shockwave. Throughout history, there have been many examples of imitative miracles. When discerning original from imitator is nigh on impossible, which is which hardly matters. Alright. So, what is this way? There's some stuff down there. I'll have to get that at some point. Hello. Yeah, I... The durability on this, uh, Hade Knight Sword goes down really quickly, it seems. That or I'm just using it a ton. Uh, he's dead, didn't have an item. What... what is up this way? Nobody behind us. What's this? Life gem, homeward bone. Alright. How did this guy die? Oh, that killed him. Um, I wonder... Let's go this way instead. I mean, I don't know if that would kill us, because we do actually have the cat ring, so we'd probably take less damage than that guy did. Oh, wait. There's a room here. Glad we turned around. Oh, yeah, see, we don't have to jump. There's stairs. Oh, there's these guys, though. Um... So let's try and backstab these guys, because that deals a lot of damage. And... dead. Awesome. We were able to kill them before they bled us. So, let's keep going. Uh, what's this say over here? Not here? I uh, don't understand what he's trying to say with that. But whatever. Alright, so we made it back down here. Uh, oh. I hear you. Oh, you're down there. Man, those guys are freaky. They really creep me out. The sound they make more than the, uh, the attacks they do. Poison ahead. Be wary of enemy and then be wary of poison. Alright, well, we've got 31,000 souls, no Estus, and there's somebody with poison in there. I think we're going to go back and level up, and then just fight our way back here. So, I will see you guys next time back here. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you really enjoyed it and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys later. See ya!